Daily Devotion with Pastor Bala for November 15th, 2024, from the book of Colossians, Working Heartily for the Lord. Previously, we heard how our work, regardless of our position or status, is ultimately performed for the Lord, rather than merely for earthly authorities. We learn that sincere service flows from our fear and reverence of God, not from seeking human approval or recognition. We were reminded that our vocations, our holy callings, through which God serves others and provides for his creation. Finally, we discovered that our identity as God's redeemed children frees us to serve others wholeheartedly knowing that our worth comes from Christ rather than our job performance. So let's continue with the book of Colossians. From Colossians chapter 3, verse 23 and 24. Whatever you do, work heartily, as for the Lord and not for men, knowing that from the Lord you will receive the inheritance as your reward. You're serving the Lord, Christ. In our daily lives, we are often find ourselves caught up in the mundane tasks of work, household chores, and various responsibilities. These activities might seem disconnected from our spiritual life. However, the Apostle Paul presents a change in perspective in this letter to the Colossians that reshapes how we view our daily work. The key insight lies in understanding that all our work, regardless of its nature, can be an act of worship when done with the right heart and motivation. So when Paul instructs us to work heartily, he uses language that literally means from the soul. This isn't about merely putting in effort or about meeting expectations. It's about investing our whole being into our tasks as an expression of our faith. Now, consider how this changes our approach to our daily responsibilities. That spreadsheet that you're working on, the dishes you're washing, the homework you're helping your children complete, all of these become opportunities to serve Christ directly. We're not working to impress our earthly supervisors or gain recognition from others. We are working as though Christ himself were our immediate supervisor. Now, this perspective also addresses the common struggle with motivation in our work. When we understand that our true employer is Christ, it elevates even the most ordinary tasks to acts of spiritual significance. The promise of an inheritance reminds us that our earthly labor has eternal implications. Now, this inheritance isn't earned through our work but rather is a gracious gift from our Lord received through faith. So our vocations, whether in the workplace, home, community, or our divine callings, through which God works to care for his creation and serve our neighbors. When we grasp this truth, it transforms Monday mornings from a burden into an opportunity to participate in God's ongoing work in the world. Remember, the same hands that serve you at your workplace or home are the hands through which Christ serves others. Your daily work becomes a channel through which God's love flows to those around you. Now, this understanding brings dignity and purpose to all honest labor, regardless of its perceived importance in the world's eyes. 
God's peace and many blessings be with you. And thank you for listening. And please take an opportunity to share this message with others. If you have enjoyed these daily devotions, please consider making a donation to Peace Lutheran Church, 24024 West Main Street, Plainfield, Illinois, 60544. Thank you again for listening.